all these bodies everywhere, and, and this person is just enjoying doing it. it there's, I, there's no way. I don't know how. How do you know he's enjoying it? I'm. I've heard from others that he was laughing in other rooms. I heard that he was calm and just just doing his thing. Well, Blue shirt, was, blue shirt right here. For any of the doctors, um, we now know that he was using a high-velocity AR-15 rifle. Were you able to tell, was there any commonality here? Were these uh, through and through wounds, did they appear to be close up? Uh, could you tell anything about uh, the nature of this, and was he aiming for any particular part of the body? Could somebody take that? Dr. Ebert? Yes, <laughs> I was going through that with uh, some of the detectives yesterday. So there's a variety of things. Uh, you could tell small, we have both small caliber and large caliber, and you could tell proximity based on the amount of injury. We had some that had massive soft tissue loss that we assume after talking with the detectives, they were more pro uh, in close proximity, as opposed to some that were running away that maybe the bullet uh, had less tissue. We did see through and through injuries we have to make it somewhat difficult and have to determine the course. Um, the small caliber ones can kind of bounce around inside cavities and cause multiple injuries, which we've seen that as well. So when you say small caliber and large caliber, caliber, that means he was using both the rifle and the handgun? You it would seem so, yes, sir. White shirt, right here. Uh, 